I bought the ginormous Sephora favorites advent calendar for 2024. My first advent calendar purchase of the season. I really don't go too big with the advent calendars just because a lot of them don't really seem worth it but sephora has actually been stepping up their game with their calendars i remember a few years ago they used to have awful like the worst advent calendars on the market that would have like random things in it like hair ties and a random mini nail file but this one actually looks really really good it looks like it's similar to last year's which was very coveted hard to get and now this one already sold out too they did like a rouge early access so i don't know if it's really sold out or if it is still coming on the site soon because i don't know i just have a hard time believing that it is sold out but this seems to be like one of the most wanted advent calendars for the year. Let's see what's all inside. Did we get a good deal? I mean, it's always hard, but I feel like you have to keep in mind with advent calendar unboxings, like advent calendars aren't meant to be the best deal ever, but I paid $100 for this, 99 to be exact, and it's supposed to have a $366 retail value we got 25 days let's go ahead and get into it so this is huge it opens up like this and you have all of your 25 days here starting here on day one and the first thing we got this is actually really exciting to me we got a mini rare beauty mascara this is one of my favorite mascaras i personally love it i have it in a full size i also just got a mini of it in one of the rare beauty sets but this is exciting to me they actually do sell this mini size on sephora for 11 dollars very happy with product number one next up product number two looks like a lipstick if i can get this out of here I don't know why that was so difficult, but this is a cute little Givenchy lipstick. It has this really pretty like faux leather nude packaging. This looks like one of those color changing formulas. This is called Shade Rose Perfecto. It does have the Givenchy rose smell. Let's swatch it. That's actually really pretty. It looks like a gorgeous peach, but it's very natural, very glass-like on the skin. I do like a lot of Givenchy products. They're definitely really pricey, so I'm excited to get a little mini one in here. Number three is like a pretty big box. Oh, I almost ripped the other one. I'm so not graceful with these. All right. Ooh, okay. I love these. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross like alpha beta peel pads. These are so good. When your skin just feels like it needs a reset, this is like a facial at home that you can do. I wouldn't recommend them if you have very sensitive skin, but if you use this, don't use any other products, don't use any retinol or anything for like a week um, and try this out. I even have the extra strength ones too. I feel like I'm gonna do this actually tonight. I have some travel next week, so like I want my skin to look its best and this will just kind of reset it a bit, get any dead skin off and just give it a nice glow. I do sell this one for 20 bucks it looks like on the Sephora site and it comes like this. You'll have one little soaked towel on each side, your step one and step two to neutralize. These are so good and I've been needing a little restock on them. Next we have number four down here. Here. Now in here we got some Sunday Riley good jeans. I remember when this used to be all the rage. Everyone was talking about good jeans when Sunday Riley kind of first came onto the market. I haven't heard many people talk about it lately, but I know that Sunday Riley kind of got into some bad water with some of their employees leaving Sephora reviews for their products. But I feel like this was always a good one. It's a lactic acid treatment, so again, it's going to kind of rejuvenate, renew the skin, hopefully help fade some fine lines, all that, just make the skin look a little bit younger. This is definitely a little mini. It's 0.27 ounces, but honestly, it's not a bad size. I feel like you could get a few uses out of this because you really don't need a ton of this one. Oh my god. Next up is number five. We actually have this really cute tart juicy lip plump this is one of my favorite formulas from them this is in the shade rosy mauve shimmer glass oh this is the shimmery one i don't think i've tried this one but i love the lip plumps they look so shiny glassy on the lips i swear every time i have one on someone's always asking what i'm wearing in the comments or even in person too oh this is really beautiful it's a really nice light rose. It's almost cooler tone to me and you can see the gorgeous shimmer in there but these are 
just like the name, juicy on the lips, really shiny, and I feel like this is a decent size. It's like half of a full size, and love the color with that one. So, so far we have gotten some really good things, I feel like. Anyways, I had to rip that whole door off, so now my advent calendar doesn't look as pretty, but I think we're on at number six. Ooh, oh, Laneige. This is actually something I've been using every day currently. This is their Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. I actually have it next to me. There it is. This is the full size. This is a little size. This is the perfect size to take with me next week because I wasn't going to be dragging this full size with me. But this is basically like a skin milk and it's really liquidy. So I feel like this is probably going to last you a decent amount of time. This is a 1.6 ounce the full size is five ounces but it makes your skin just look so hydrated i've been going for more of the kind of milky moisturizing toner products lately because i feel like my skin just loves it i've been keeping my routine pretty simple i used up my road glazing skin milk and i've been using the laneige like crazy number seven i feel like this can be a full size yep it is we got a full size lip liner this is from Charlotte Tilbury. It looks like we got their Pillow Talk 2. So not the original Pillow Talk. I feel like that's always in like everything. But Pillow Talk 2 is like their medium. I think they also have a deeper tone as well. Let me swatch this for you. But it's a really good shade. And I love the Charlotte Tilbury formula because these do stay put on the lips. They're creamy, but they don't fade off right away. They do leave some behind. So nice that it's not like the original Pillow Talk. It's something a little different and full size. Let's see how much this retails for. $25, so that's already a fourth of your box. Plus with those Dr. Dennis peel pads, like you're already halfway there. We are on number eight here. Oh, this is cute. We got this cutie little Pamagraph mini blush in Divine Rose. I really like these, but how fun is this little guy? I feel like this is a good like neutral shade too. Their Divine Rose is always such a popular one from them. I don't even know if I have this in a full size or not, but how pretty. I do like this blush formula. I think they are gorgeous on the cheeks. I will say I haven't seen them a lot at TJ Maxx lately. I know not everyone likes to buy their makeup at TJ Maxx, but just something that I have noticed. And I know Pat McGrath does do a lot of sales, but this is a pretty cute size, a very wearable mid-tone pink blush. Number nine here. Oh, this is cute too. We got a mini Urban Decay all-nighter setting spray. I honestly haven't used this one in a bit. I would have preferred to get the one size. That one's my all-time favorite, but I mean, I will definitely use this up. All-nighter is kind of the one that started it all. Definitely one of the first ones on the market. I remember, if you guys remember, Scandinavia setting sprays, which I think they actually made the all-nighter for Urban Decay. I don't know if they still do. Obviously, probably, because or they just gave them the formula, but yeah, Scandinavia was kind of like the first ones, and then they made the one for Urban Decay but this is a 0.5 ounce size hopefully you guys enjoy my little makeup and skincare fun facts all right number 10 this looks like a powder oh okay laura mercier we got their translucent setting powder this is also a very iconic product nice little travel size i honestly haven't used this one in a while i do feel like people really still do like it though especially for oily skin i feel like this one has always been good but if you have dry skin i feel like it can be like a little bit too dry for you i personally use the huda one a lot but i should go back to this and see if i still enjoy it it's just the translucent and it is a mini. Number 11, we have, this looks like a bigger one. Oh, this is a full size. You guys, this lip balm, oh my gosh. We got the Ola Henriksen lip treatment. Now, I do kind of wish this was one of their, like, scented ones. They have a couple, like a creme brulee or something. Um... There's like a raspberry shade too, but this is just their original, so this one doesn't have any color. But I'm kind of surprised they included this because... Oh, this smells like oranges, like their skincare line. That smells really good. But this is really a popular lip treatment. I feel like it works really good. 
it is nice and like thick and juicy on the lips. Really, really nice formula. So that's so exciting. We got a full size of that. And that retails for $22. Looks like we got a nice kind of mix of some full size in samples in here. Number 12. Ooh, cute. We got a little Tatcha. This is the Mini Dewy Skin Cream. This one's nice. I do have oily skin, so I like their water cream a little bit more. But I will wear this one for evening just to give that nice glassy skin effect. And yeah, these are the perfect little travel sizes for when you have a trip or just to try out and see if it's something you like. Number 13. Oh, cute. I didn't know they had a perfume in here. We got Commodities Milk Plus. This is the bold one. So with Commodity, they make three of every scent of theirs. So they have like the personal, they have the medium, which is typically what I go for. And then the bold is supposed to be the strongest. Now, I don't love these dab on bottles, but milk from them is one of my favorite scents. I do own it in the full size, not the bold though. But the scent's just going to be like slightly different to me. It pretty much smells the exact same. But this is just a lot stronger. And even the middle one is strong enough on its own. But if you haven't tried milk yet, this is so good. It's like, it's a milky scent without being pure milk. Like a lot of people didn't like Replica's Afternoon Delight because it's like too milky. This one has like vanilla, marshmallow, little musk in there. It's beautiful. And with this, you only need like a little bit anyway. Just kind of dab some on your wrist and then kind of wipe it like on your neck area too. You could put some behind your neck. I know that's like a hot spot as well. I was not expecting any fragrance in here, so that was fun. Number 14, another fragrance. Okay, we got Gucci Flora. This is the gorgeous Magnolia. This one came out last year. It's another little dabber bottle. Let's smell this one. I feel like this is very floral for them, so I, it's not one that I picked up, but... Oh, I like that with this bottle, it doesn't all just rush out of it. It's very much magnolia heavy, very much like a light floral. It's okay. It's not for me. I'm probably not going to get a ton of use out of it, but it's nice that they included, like, the milk for the more gourmand lovers, and then for the more floral lovers, you have the Gucci, so a little something for everyone. Okay, number 15... Let's see here. Ooh, I think, is this full size? I think so. This is the Ordinary Eye Serum. Now, the Ordinary is not ex an expensive brand by any means, so this probably really isn't worth a whole lot, but it is the multi-peptide eye serum. Now, they actually have an even bigger size of this. This is technically the smaller size, but whoa. This is way more expensive than I thought. This is $25 for this, for this size too, the 0.5 ounce. I always thought their stuff was really cheap. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, this is kind of pricier than I thought. It says it's going to help target dark circles, puffiness, and signs of aging, which I definitely need. I need to do better at my eye cream because I do struggle with the puffiness, and this could be a nice one to try for the mornings. So I will, I will give this one a shot. Let me know if you guys have tried it and what you think. But yeah, that's quite expensive, and I feel like with that product, we're already at like probably over what we spent on this box. All right, number 16 is the biggest box in here. This bad boy right here. And it is, oh my gosh, this is huge. Wow, okay. We got a humongous Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. I have used this before, and this is really nice. I'm excited. I run out of cleansing balms so fast, so this is always something I need because I always double cleanse my skin at the end of the night. I like the cleansing balm for getting off my makeup because it is that kind of oily, balmy formula, and then I'll go in with a regular cleanser on top. Now, the Inky List definitely, I know, is not a super expensive brand. Let's see how much this retails for. So the big one retails for $13. Definitely a very practical product I will use. Okay, number 17. Oh, another favorite of mine. Okay, this is the Wow Dream Coat Spray. You guys probably have heard of this. It's pretty popular, but it's a really good, like, anti-frizz, protects your hair from heat damage. So this is something, like, I use it as a leave-in conditioner, basically. A lot of people say you have to spray a lot of it, but I personally don't. Like, I have been able to save my full size for over a year and use it sparingly. I don't like to use too much because I just feel like that's going to weigh my hair down personally. But I do notice when I use it, my hair definitely has less frizz. Although, 
you can't air dry your hair with it or it doesn't really get the benefits you definitely have to blow dry and yeah i'm almost out of my full size so very exciting i feel like that yeah, yeah this advent calendar has a lot of products like i genuinely use in here so that is really nice a lot of other ones i feel like just put in junk that doesn't sell okay 18 we have ooh amika amika put in a little nourishing hair mask i love their packaging and their stuff smells so good this one is supposed to hydrate and soften the hair i was just thinking to myself as i was curling my hair before this video that i feel like my ends are so dry i feel like it needs some good hydration i've been using a lot of like protein stuff so i feel like it's time to switch over to some more hydrating things and this is a really nice size this will last me quite a while because i don't always use a mask every time i wash and i try to wash only every few days but amika has always had some really great hair products and yeah they smell so good and the scent like lingers in your hair okay number 19 i feel like there's also so bonuses in here too you guys so there's a lot of stuff oh and here we got from jisoo this is their honey infused hair oil i did receive one of these i went to a sephora event a couple months ago this is not my favorite hair oil i have very fine hair and their oil tends to weigh it down quite a bit i feel like this brand is so popular lately this is just a little baby size of the oil but yeah for me it's just too heavy but if you have like more medium hair, maybe even coarse hair, you might actually like this little hair oil. But yeah, that's a little tiny, tiny size. Number 20. Oh, this is the Sol de Janeiro while I pull off all these doors. <laughs> Oh, this thing's a mess. I did see that we were getting a little Sol de Janeiro spray in the 59. It's perfect little travel spray. This is one of my favorites from them. It smells so good. It's like a... I would say it's not a super gourmand vanilla, but it's like a very fluffy, clean girl vanilla. It is very beautiful. It has vanilla, orchid, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood. I don't find this to be a super woody fragrance by any means. It's still very sugary, light, fluffy, just all around a really good scent. So very excited to get that little mini spray. Number 21 is... Let's see if I can get this out of here. This is really tight in here. Okay. I don't... Is this a full size? This is an Anastasia brow gel. The clear brow gel. I feel like this has been around for years and I've still never tried it. But I have been running low on some of my brow gels in my collection. So I've been needing to kind of stock up again. This is a mini, but they do sell this exact size on the website for $13. Okay. I think we are now on 22 Oh, cute. And here we got a little milk makeup. This is their matte bronzer in baked. Now, tell me, do they still sell this packaging? Because I know I have one. I don't know if that was just a contour stick and maybe this is the bronzer stick. Maybe they just have different packagings. Okay, so yeah, those were the contours that I have. This they do sell on the Sephora website. This technically is a full size, even though I know it looks tiny. Milk Makeup used to have a huge bottle like this big of this, but they shrunk it down, but still charge the same price for it. But this does last quite a while. I remember the big shade used to be really good. I don't know. I just never repurchased it. So let's so watch this one i really like the formula of these yeah that's a nice kind of neutral bronzer tone and these do blend out really nice as well so yeah another full size this retails for 24 dollars number 23 oh i see a fragrance this is from Joe Malone. Even these minis, I know from them, retail for quite a bit. But this is their English Pear and Sweet Pea. I don't remember if I like this one. Oh, this is a spray. I love that it's a spray. It's a little more floral than I would like. I would love to get more of the pear in this one. Not my favorite from them. I'm, for some reason, getting more of, like, a woody floral. Not as much of the fruity sweetness. I definitely have other Jo Malone scents I like more, but I am happy that we are getting this in a little spray. Okay, are we on 24, I think? Almost to the end. Ooh, 24 is a mini Lancome. This is the Monsieur Big Mascara, a very popular one from them. I haven't used this one in a while, but it's a good one, and I am very excited to use it again. 24. 
is a mini. Usually 25 is supposed to be the best, I thought, but it's definitely not. <laughs> this is a little tiny Peter Thomas Roth water drench moisturizer, which I don't know. Do you guys go with your advent calendars? I always start with number one and then end at 25. Some people start at 25 and end at number one, but usually like 25 is supposed to be the big item. This should have been 25 right there, <laughs> but yeah, just a little moisturizer. So there's also some bonuses in here, so I guess they just wanted to add in some extras here. There's a little bonus here. What is this? Oh, Glow Recipe. Oh, this is their Dew Drops, the Hue ones that are a little more bronzy. That's a fairly new product, so that's kind of cool. I personally didn't love these. They're a little orange on me. I just don't love bronzing drops that much, but a lot of people do like these, and they are very glowy too, so if you have dry skin, I feel like you're probably going to love that. So that's like a bonus item. And then there is a big bonus here too that looks like maybe a full size. Oh, okay. This is a tiny, tiny beauty blender. I didn't even know they made mini beauty blenders. I knew they had the mini eye ones that kind of looked like this. I don't even know if they still have those anymore, but they had like beauty blenders for under the eyes. You're probably not gonna get much foundation coverage. You could use it for concealer as well, but yeah, they used to sell little eye ones that look about this size. But I think we opened every box. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. So according to my calculations here, I feel like you get a decent value with this advent calendar. These four products alone are basically gonna put you at $100 if you bought them individually, which is the cost of the advent calendar, like the Milk Makeup Bronzer, this Ordinary Eye Serum, the Oola Lip Treatment, and then the Full Size Charlotte Tilbury Liner. Plus I did add up some of the other like samples that I could find prices for. Of course there's not prices for everything, and that was just over $200 just adding up the prices listed on the Sephora site but that does not include every single item so while I know they put the retail value here of 366 I feel like that's a bit overinflated. I would say you get just over a $200 value in my opinion which is still half the price I paid. I do feel like this is one of the better advent calendars that I have personally opened. I feel like I got a lot of good stuff in here that I would use and if this looks like stuff that you would like as well, I mean you get a little bit of a discount. I feel like if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck, the other Sephora favorite sets, I would check those out as well. I have a whole video kind of going over a few of them which I can link down below but those you typically get an even better value. But yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff in here from makeup to skincare, hair care, all of the above. And I would say I was pleased with it. I wasn't too let down. I'm going to have the link for this down below if you guys want to go to it and maybe bookmark it. Um, I would put in your email to see when it comes back in stock because I don't think it's gone for good. I feel like it might have just been a rouge thing only. I really don't see this being sold out already and I don't think it's coming to Sephora stores yet. I don't know if it will be. I'll try to update you guys if I see it in stock but if you guys want to bookmark it, it'll be linked down below. But let me know what you guys thought of this advent calendar. Did you like it? Did you not? I mean, I'm pretty pleased overall. I don't know if I will be doing many other advent calendars this year. We'll see. If you guys see one that looks really interesting that you really want me to unbox, let me know. I just, for the most part, a lot of advent calendars don't always pique my interest. A lot of them I feel like are a little bit of a waste of money, but they are really fun to do to kind of open up even counting down to Christmas. Each day open a fun little surprise, and I know there's a ton that come out from many different brands each year, so let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!